Well, now that I've helped him out enough, I'm going to see if he'll. Uh, Hi, Confessor. I'm going to see what he'll say Hello, if I ask friend. him about accessing demons. Was there files. something you require? Those memories you've been wanting to access? I found a way to unlock them. You have? Atom above, child. I can only imagine what you had to do in order to lay your hands on such information. But understand that you are to bring anything you find directly to me. I will send word you're not to be impeded. And be careful. Too many of our brethren have fallen already trying to unlock the secrets of that accursed machine. Now, go do what you must. Alright. Get out of this damn confusing sub. At this point, you're in Adam's hands. Thank you. So, we're gonna get the memories, and then we're just gonna leave. <laughs> Not gonna hand anything over to Tectus. Because he's an asshole. As far as I can tell. Alright, what's, what's all this nonsense? Tripwires. Whatever will I do? Well, that looks like fun. Oh, they were double sided. I set them off anyway. Is there a robot walking around back there? Oh, fucking turret.
Let's make sure. Tension, tension, wire of Captain Wabash. Submarine containment leak detected, general evacuation protocol, personnel report to designated evac zones. back here. I should have grabbed a radiation suit somewhere along the line. But oh well. Surprise ah! Aha! No! What? Assault Tron! I wanted to attack the fucking Assault Tron. Fuck! Yeah. Well, that was quicker than expected. Five x damage. Thank you. Ah, Titron Guardian. Like you're any real fight after that asshole. Ambush. Fucking knew it. Oh my god, it's fucking legendary. Oh no. Resetting threat level. Legendary status. Oh, I'm 
gonna die. Gonna die. Gonna die so bad. Negative contact. Hostile utilizing stealth tactics. Yeah, no shit I'm utilizing stealth tactics. this now? Maybe? Finally? Alright. Five memories. Only one is not locked, so let's see what it is. Icebreaker override. If you're listening to this, then you made it inside my memory banks. Oh my Take a moment. I know it's a lot at once. Who are you? Good grief. Definitely need to- oh, it's like... Super- Super jumping! As I fall off a cliff. The architecture you're seeing is data. My data. When I'm plugged into the chair, this is what I see. Oh. You're using an earlier version of that technology. A brainwave scanner instead of a direct neural wire. Look around. Do you see that yellow column in the distance? Yep. That's long-term memory storage. That's your goal. Ah. But you can't just retrieve that data yourself. One of the programs loaded in that holotape is called the Indexer. They're represented by the friendly green sprites milling around. Do you see them? Are, are those the friendly The Indexers green sprites? have one purpose. Those guys? To get the data in the yellow column and bring it back to the memory access point. You need to help them get there and back safely. Once they've recovered all the data in the memory, the program will translate it into something you can understand. If you ever need to leave the simulation, then don't worry. Nothing gets reset. You can keep going from wherever you left off. Good. You're across the gap. But now you have to deal with the security systems. That red firewall is blocking you and your indexers from reaching the data. Do you see that green beam of light? That's a decoder beam. It can destroy the firewall. You just need to direct the beam to its vulnerable spot. deal with the security systems. That red firewall is blocking you and your indexers from yes, reaching the yes, data. Yes, I understand. Do you see that green beam of light? Okay, so. That's a decoder beam. It can destroy the firewall. Oh, there we go. I think that's what it, that'll do it. Good. There we you go. You're across the gap. But now you have to deal with the security systems. I get it. That red firewall is blocking you and your indexers from reaching the data. Do you see that green beam of light? 
That's a decoder beam. It can destroy the it. firewall. Stop You just need yourself. to direct the beam to its vulnerable spot. Good. Now you just need to create a path to the data with code blocks, and your indexers can get to work. Here they come. <sighs> the path's already built for you. Get over here. everything they can to stop your indexers from returning to the access point with the data. of intrusive program. Mark. 
Martin and his children of Adam any longer. Better to just forget. I found it. The location of the launch key to fire the nuclear missile inside the submarine. Confessor Martin believes it can bring his people into division. Destruction at the hands of an atomic blast. He struggles with how literal his interpretation of that precept should be. I can't risk him deciding to find the key and use it. His people were the first to accept me for what I am. The thought of them being gone fills me with nothing but pain. Additional data appended. Location, the Harbor Grand Hotel safe room. Key code, 485130. Alright. I guess I'll go do that after we're, uh, done unlocking the rest of these memories. I guess. want to go? Oh man, are you kidding me? This has turned into a puzzle game. And presto. intrusive program. Data now breach detected. Them fight it out. Initiating anti-intrusion countermeasures. Complete memory retrieved. Ta-da! The data stream is now available to access the next memory. discovers the truth, or gives in to their xenophobia despite all my efforts. I've isolated the wind turbine powering Far Harbor's fog condensers. A kill switch command will leave them defenseless from the fog and its creatures. But now that it's done, am I really capable of this? This massacre that I've engineered? I'm going to remove the command code from my memories. I'll bury a hard copy if I need to use it, but I can't keep it close to me. It makes me sick. Additional location data appended. Coordinates to the kill switch command code and the wind farm maintenance building. Wow. Wow. Now we know what it is that he, uh...
step one. We need to go down here. Now I just need to move some more stuff around to make it a uh, go through there. Alright, and that should do it. Ta-da! Just go back up here and make sure our little buggies can get across. Sentry initiating erasure of intrusive indexer. Alright, come on little buggies. Now we wait. That's 100% verified. Good job. Yay! You can use the data stream to access the next memory, as usual. Memory file identification. Last one. Zero Z dash seven A four K. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning uh. playback. Get away from me! What the hell are you? It's me. We escaped the Institute together. You're my brother. I, thought he was about I don't have a brother. The name's Nick Valentine. And no one in my family tree is a plastic skin freak. You're just confused. Let me help. Stay away from me! Build. <laughs> That's doing anything productive, but uh, let's go take a look. All right, here we go. That just 
just eliminated another uh, bunch of red blocks. So now perhaps we are one step closer. Attrition of intrusive program. Secure right. alert. Data breach detected. Countermeasures yeah, initiated. Well now we wait. Complete oh, memory oh, retrieved. Finally. You can exit the simulation at any time. Alright, that's all of them. Memory file identification. Zero Y dash eight K seven D. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. I've discovered a curious record inside the pre-war data files of this submarine base. The Marines here were equipped with an advanced model of combat armor. There are several suits already in the base, in various states of deterioration. But there were more shipments of the armor on its way to the base, the day the bombs fell. They could be in prime condition, if the sealants have held. I have no use for them. But you never know. Maybe they'll be worth digging up one day. Additional data appended. Armor shipments tracking information. Coordinates downloaded. Exiting simulation in three, two, one. I don't even know if I actually needed to recover like the last two memories because it didn't update that the quest at all. I mean, of course, you know, it showed me where to find that um the marine armor and stuff, but not so that. Anyway, um, yeah, that took a bit longer than I thought it was going to, so I need to end this video here. Uh, so next time we'll uh, follow the links that uh, those memories gave us. So thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye -bye. Thank <laughs> you.